Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting often rare and exotic whiskies. Today I have a single cask from Mortlach in cooperation with Signatory Vintage and the online retailer over here in Germany called WHIC Vic. So, whiskey base number 205645. We have 270 bottles. This is cask number 306. 339. So we have a nice little decanter here that Signature Vintage uses, as well as um, Edredauer uses, same company. Why not? And so we have the nice little here, the cork, very big, nice opening, beautiful, beautiful bottle design. I'm paying probably uh, 8 to 10 euros just for the dumb bottle. And then what we have here from Vic, this online retailer, it's a new series. So what we have here is number four of the Tarot series. So there's 22 Tarot cards, and there's going to be 22 bottles in this series. Yeah, when Pandaren came out with their Pandaren Whale series with 30-some bottles, I was like, really? Am I actually going to experience that in my lifetime? Am I going to live long enough to have 30 different bottles if you come out with one a year? I don't know. I mean, hey. So they're doing more than one a year. They're doing about four to six a year. So 22 is going to still be a four-year series. I don't... I'm sure there are people that are going to collect all 22 and not open them up. Um, but I hope people actually do open the bottles up and enjoy the whiskey inside of it. Now, I don't know if it's a great whiskey or not, but I do know that this bottling is unique. So, number one, how often do you have independently bottled Mortlach? It's the Agile brand. Every once in a while, they give up some casks. And um, so, that is a possibility, but I don't have it often. This is, and this is something I don't understand, all right? It says here, we have distillation 2009, we have bottled 2021, we have the cast number, we have the cast type, X Canadian HHD. HHD stands for hog's head. But what's a Canadian hog's head? Now, I like casks. I like talking about wood. I know that used to, it used to be the case that you'd take five bourbon barrels, disassemble them, put all the other barrels into a container, <clears throat> send it over to Scotland, usually the Speyside Cooperage, and out of those staves of five, they would make four hogshead, put, make new heads, and then actually then use that as barrels for the next 80 to 100 years. It was a typical standard practice. Today, it's way too expensive for the manpower to do that. We just shove them into a container, send them over the bourbon barrels. I was in Scotland in May of 2022. I asked at every single distilleries, where are the hogsheads? I was in Isla, where are the hogsheads? We have some sherry hogsheads. Hogsheads are not used that often. They used to be 20 years ago used very often. But today, it is the bourbon standard, American ABS, the American um, standard, ASB, American standard barrel. All right, so I have no idea. Where did the cask come from? Did they take an ex-bourbon, send it over to Scotland, turn it in hogshead, used it there, sent it over to Canada, from Canada, and they sent it back over to the UK? That cask has gone across the Atlantic more than I have in the last three years. Um... Is it actually, do they use hawks heads at all in Canada? I might have to ask Dr. Don Livermore about that. I don't know. I have never heard about a hogs heads from Canada. They use a lot of ex-bourbon barrels. Yes. They call them Canadian whiskey barrels because there was Canadian whiskey and they use it again. And then it's Canadian. It's no longer ex-bourbon. Yes. But a hogs head, if you have any information out there, please tell me. Now, this was a 90 euro bottle. 90 euros for a single cast Mortlach, 12 years of age, in cast strength, is actually a bargain. So this was sold out within literally hours. 270 bottles went. Um, I think the mailing list of Vic uh, DE um, has over 15,000 people. So even if less than 2% of every newsletter subscriber actually bought a bottle, it was possible to buy two bottles. 
um, they would have been sold out very quickly, and they were. I was one of the few. I was online at the moment, and I was able to do that. So what am I going to compare it to? I'm going to compare it to the Mortlach 13-year-old special release for 2021. So this is um, from Refill and Virgin Oak Cask, natural cask strength, and we're talking about 55.9. So here we have 56.6, here we have 55.9. So we do see a little bit of a decrease in the ABV with a year of extra aging here. So we both have natural color, we both have natural cast strength, we both have Mortlach. Now, I sometimes doubt, not always, but sometimes I doubt if there's actually, if I, if I can actually recognize cask, sorry, distillery character. So you give me something, give me five different whiskeys from Mortlach. Would I be able to identify a unifying denominator, a common denominator that says, oh, they're all from Mortlach? I, I can't. You give me something that was in a port cast, something that was in a sherry cast, something that was an ex bourbon cast, something that was in a Canadian hogshead, something that was in virgin oak, and say, hey, can you take a look at these and try these and tell me, are they all the same distillery? I don't think I can. I don't think there's many people that could. Now, maybe you think you can. I don't think I can. I think the wood influences, the cask influences the spirit so much that I would not be able to identify them all from the same distillery. Or even worse, imagine you would actually have six different glasses there, and I would say, hey, three of these are from this distillery, and three of these are from another distillery. Please separate. I don't think there's many people that will get that right. Not me. <laughs> All right, so now after saying that, I'm going to smell and see, is it typical Mortbach? All right, there is a lightness about this whiskey. I'm getting a white grape. I'm getting a elderberry moment here. I am getting a sweetness, um, a barley sweetness. Getting some wood. It's actually a very, very subtle, nice nose. The official tasting notes is a spring light fruit compote with pears, didn't get pears, vanilla sauce, and a creamy, um, cr a creamy cream toffee. So a little bit of strawberry marmalade is there. And um, in total, it's very fresh and it's very floral with a little light mineral note going on here. Eh, I'm not sure if that's a perfect description, but it's, it's close enough. All right, now going over to the special release 2021. Now when I smell this, I go, oh, that's Motlach. Sometimes I do have actually a common denominator, a moment where I go, oh, it's meaty. Yeah, it's a little bit meatier than most whiskeys I know out there. This is good. I could confuse Motlach sometimes with a Kregaliki, but it's good. So, to be totally honest, I actually like the artwork, artwork here. I like the, the Emperor. I kind of like, as contrast, the blue and the green here, the aqua colors for the um, werewolf, or the howling wolf. Um, flat, the bottle design is not the most important thing. I mean, this is... Looks almost like a big perfume bottle. This does look like the decanter. Oh, did I mention there's a nice little necklace on here with the tarot card as well? I, this is something I don't need. I don't need to pay an extra 8 to 10 euros for the bottle either. I'm sure this didn't cost much less. They are basically probably about the same amount. I'm happy with a very, very simple, simple bottle. Um, nothing special for me. Whiskey is meant to be drunk. It's not just an object of beauty and admiration, in my opinion. All right, let's go for the taste here. Now, the longer it's in the glass, the more I get a little bit of like an off note in the background. There's, I don't know if I can actually smell it, but I, it, 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 it triggers a memory of old, tired casks. All right, cheers. Mm. Mm. 
Wow, is that hot. Yeah, old tired casks. Bitter. Bitter wood tannin. Now, it's not astri astringent, as in sucks all the moisture out of your cheeks. It, it's a little bit bitter. It's like a wood bitterness, an old wood bitterness. Wow, that's really not my cup of tea. It reminds me a little bit of a tea that has been seeping way too long. So the official tasting notes on the website here are nice, rounded, and sweet. You experience the aging. A very soft flood of vanilla and caramel that brings a lot of character with it and aroma of very spicy tabac, tobacco. And the aftertaste should be short with sweet caramel hell a very bright fruit freshness and some type tobacco so i'm not sure that's what i'm getting i'm not getting tobacco i'm getting a bitterness i'm not getting a roundness i am getting a sweet vanilla moment i'm getting a little bit of caramel but the whole heat of this whiskey that hotness basically ruins it for me now <clears throat> the question was this canadian hogshead how many other whiskeys had been in it? I don't know about you, but I've heard some stories about Canadian whiskey using the the bourbon, the first fill bourbon barrel, the first fill Canadian whiskey barrel, the second fill, and the third fill. So actually, it's the fifth fill because we have bourbon, we have first fill bourbon, we have first fill Canadian, we have second and third. So a barrel often used in Canada, not always, not everywhere, but it's been used before five times. And this, this whiskey is just it's sitting in inactive casks. And I have the feeling that these 12 years in this inactive cask really didn't do it much good at all. This is natural color, by the way, all right? So that's not bad, all right? I've, I can live with that. So it was still giving up some color. Um, I don't know if they actually recharted. it. I do not know if they actually did anything else to that cask before um, using it. Could have been. But it is natural color and cast strength. So I have tasted this whiskey before in my German video that I did before this. I actually diluted this down to 30% to see if I can get rid of the heat. I can't. Even at 30%, there's still a residual heat on here, which is scary so what i'm going to do is dilute it down to 50 percent on the nose i still like the nose there is a little bit of a fruity i'm going to use a word that they gave here pear there's a little bit of vanilla there might actually be a little bit of strawberry marmalade going on here it's a fresh it's a floral it's a light mineral moment it's not bad but then Mm. Mm. I taste it after diluting it down to it feels like 45 48 percent and it's still it's like it's giving me heartburn it's not the Kentucky hug it's a little bit of acidity me and I this whiskey and I are just not going to be friends I do like the look of it. I do enjoy the smell of it, but the taste of it just does not do it for me at all. All right, so let's go over the special release. I have I gave I, I had a video about a month or two ago about this. Cheers, fifty five point nine percent, the virgin oak, as well as the refill casks come through. I get that virgin oak. I do get some vanilla, some maltiness, some goodness. Mm. Actually, not bad. I have a very, very, for me, typical Motlach um, taste. Now, had this been for the 90 euros a good whiskey, that would have been absolutely a deal of the year. This is 150 euros. This is 90. Now, there is one guy actually on Whiskey Base, and I'm going to say shame on you. 
he's trying to sell his bottle of uh, Motlach for 1,200 euros. One, two, zero, zero. Mr. Tobias Bastian, I think that is a bad thing. <laughs> so, um, why? Why, why, why? Why do you think somebody should give you 1,200 euros for this? Now, in Germany, we have the saying, an idiot is born every day. Maybe someone might find that idiot and sell this bottle to him for his collection because it's just that one's the only one's missing and therefore he's going to have to pay, going to dig deep in those pockets, pay through the nose. Nah. Nah. Now, unfortunately, independent um, cast strength, Mortlach is going to be expensive. In this case, direct from the original bottling for um, 140, 150 euros. Is it worth the money? In my personal experience, no. But does it have a great, nice whiskey flavor taste? Yes. This, I'm going to give a D. And for the value for money, I'm going to also give a D. Had it been delicious, I would have given it a C plus and maybe even a C to C, to C plus for value for money. It's not often you get to have a cast strength Mortlach for 90 euros. Now, my question of the day is, what other cast strength Mortlach bottlings have you ever had? Can you recommend or even are still available? Available? Not long, no longer available. There will be the new 2022 special releases coming up from Diageo in the next couple of weeks. So that's also an interesting thing. So we'll see if there's going to be a Mortlach involved in that or not. So Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting a rare and exotic 270 bottles. That's it. Nothing else. Sold out in a few hours over here in Germany. I am Mortlach um, in cast strength 12 years old from an ex-Canadian hogshead. And if you have any information on Canadian hogsheads, please put that in the comments. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, and telling others. Bye-bye.